Governor of Niger State, Umar Bago, has asked the chief of the air staff to deploy more fighter aircraft to the state to fight terrorism. Governor Bago made the appeal during a condolence visit to the chief of the air staff in Abuja, Sifonisian reports. May their souls rest in perfect peace. A moment of silence in honor of the souls of the troops that died in the MI-171 helicopter crash, as well as those that paid the supreme price fighting terrorists in Niger State. At least 21 military troops and vigilantes paid the supreme price fighting bandits in attacks that occurred on Sunday and Monday in Zungero in the Wushishi local government area of Niger State. 30 of the bandits also died. <laughs> Another tragedy struck later on Monday when the Air Force helicopter that evacuated the casualties crashed in the mountains of Shuru. The state governor is pained by the loss of troops. Now he wants the Air Force to scale up its operations in the state. And some fighter planes to MENA so that we can uh, have more rapid responses, you know, from uh, when they are very close, instead of flying from either KNG or Kaduna. Only resolves 20 to 25 to 30 percent of uh, internal security issues. The remaining 75 to 70 to 75 percent can only be resolved through the whole of government approach. So while we are intensifying our kinetic efforts, it is extremely important that the government embraces the whole of government approach in addressing these challenges. Niger State has become a haven for bandits and terrorists who also engage in cattle rustling. The governor attributes states to the activities of illegal miners. The state has large deposits of lithium and gold. Over the years, we've been trying to talk to them and that uh, there's a symbiotic relationship between the Fulani headsmen and the miners, you know, because they use uh, these uh, cattle to transship whatever they have mined. You know, that is why you see the symbiotic relationship. According to a report by Nigeria's Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative, Niger State tops the list of states with illegal mining activities. While the authorities are scaling up efforts to curb the incidents, the vet of the troops is a sad reminder of the price they sometimes have to pay. The loss is one the Air Force says would not be allowed to go in vain as it will scale up its operations across the country to ensure it is safer for citizens to leave. Sifon Asian, TVC News, Abuja.